Hello Internet, I'm Guy. This is a bolt from my friend Topher's table saw that got a little bent right here. This is the bolt that causes the blade to pivot over um, on the, the table saw. It's a vintage Craftsman and it's bent. So uh, Topher asked me if I would make another one for him and he brought me this bolt to, to use as a uh, sacrificial bolt here. So I need to shorten it just a little bit, dial this down a bit and re-thread it. So stay with me, it'll be a quick and easy project. Okay, so I know I need to take a half inch off the bolt here, so I'm going to take the left edge of my cutting tool, set it up there, zero my digital readout for the carriage, and then move over 0.5 inches, oops, too much, right about there, then I'm going to lock the carriage down and make a cut here. Okay, so now I'm going to use my cutting tool and move it over exactly an inch and make a slight recess there to form that little step. So, looking at my digital readout, moving over. 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, and right about there, one inch even. Okay, so I'm going to just drive in a little bit and then take a measurement and finish that dimension. <laughs> That's a good start. I can take a measurement from there. Okay, well that was the wrong tool, so I'm going to go in with the parting tool just to establish this step, and then we'll go from there. Voiceover guy here. Sorry I lost the audio for this section, but obviously I'm going to be uh, cutting down the threads, getting rid of those, and getting the diameter down to a, an appropriate diameter to cut the threads for the smaller diameter threads that need to be here. So I'm using the motorized carriage drive system that I uh, built onto my lathe quite a while ago. Because I don't believe in threading on this machine, I just can do that with taps and dies, as I, you will see shortly. So what's really nice about this is I can just drive it back and forth. And a little chamfer to help the tap guide on to this section and we're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to put my 3 8 by 16 thread die in the die follower that I made a while ago. And sneak this up right there. Get some lube on there and let's see how this is going to go. Well, this wrench is really chewing up my die holder, but if I'd put some tummy bar holes in here, I'd be doing a lot better. But heck, I made the tool, I can break it. Okay, I think I've got that fully tapped in, so let me just run the machine backwards and see if I can drive it off of there. There we go. Nice looking thread. And there we are. Oops. That's a pretty clean looking thread. Okay, I'm just going to clean that up with a lathe file a little bit. Okay, mission accomplished. This is the same thread length here, the same flange uh, diameter except for these threads here. The head is a little different, but uh, all that matters is this end, I believe. So hopefully it'll fit in his saw and he's going to be a happy camper. Mm -hmm.